Hello and welcome to a new video about chromatics. This time we are still talking about control elements, control, chromatic controls. And this time we want to do a logic. We are again using a double acting cylinder. However, we want to adjust the speed of the cylinder. So we want to adjust the speed of the cylinder and uh, we want to have one button. Then the cylinder shall travel to one side. Then we have a second button, then the cylinder shall travel to the other side. Yeah? So, but this shall be stored. I do not want to press the button all the time. I want to press the button, then the cylinder shall travel. You can release the button, no problem. The cylinder shall go until it's in full position. Yeah? And then after some time, I want to press the second button. And the second button will lead to the fact that the cylinder is traveling back again regardless if I hold the cylinder or not. So we want to store our last input. Huh? Let's see how this is working. Let's see how this is working. So we said again, we have a double acting cylinder. Draw this double acting cylinder. And one thing is for sure, double acting cylinder means we control it with a 5-2 way valve. I will also draw this 5-2 way valve. We have one, we have two, we have three, we have four, we have five. Okay. This is the five two wave off. And then we said we do have two buttons. Huh? So there is one button. And here's the second button. In standard position, both buttons are blocked. Yeah? So here we'll simply go down. Here's the pressure source somehow. Yeah? Here we are also connecting to the pressure source. And here we are also connecting to the pressure source. Yeah? So this is the one, this is two, this is three, this is the exhaust opening. One, two, three. Yeah? Now we said, yeah, hey, we want to, we want to select the speed. Yeah? So we have to put in here, yeah? not only going directly to the cylinder, but we have to put in a throttle. Yeah? Since I want to adjust the speed, with one throttle for outwards and with one throttle for inwards, yeah, I will use a throttle check valve, two throttle check valves here. And now we said we want to throttle the exhaust air and not the, the supply air. Yeah? So if the supply air shall get in without issue, I must draw it that way. So if it's going in, we can pass simply this check valve, zack. If it's going out, we have to go through the throttle valve. So it's exhaust air throttling. We said because then it's just the movement is simply smoother. So with this throttle, actually, I am adjusting the speed of out 
the outgoing speed and the inward speed I'm adjusting with this throttle yeah? because I am throttling the exhaust air which is coming from the cylinder. Okay? And now this here, this needs to be a special valve. Yeah? This needs to be an impulse valve. This means when there is a short impulse on one side yeah, and this goes away, it will simply switch and stay there. Yeah? So both sides here, they are pneumatically switched. So and we simply use this, how this is working, the impulse valve. Here we have the 1-4 line, here we have the 1-2 line. Yeah. If we get a short impulse on the 1-2 line, pack, it will switch to this drawn position. And if the impulse is gone again, so if there is no pressure, it will stay where it is. Yeah. Until we get here pressure, then it will move. Yeah. And if the pressure then here is again gone, then it will stay there. It's an impulse valve. Yeah. So it will store the last command. And actually that's already it. You see? If, I put, if I push here the button, we have here pressure, this will move back. If I release it, there is no pressure, here is also no pressure, so it will stay there. Here we are throttling those, those stuff. Yeah? So we are no longer, we are going slowly out. Yeah? Until I press this button, yeah? then I have here pressure, here is no pressure anymore because I released this button. Going to, to here, now I can release this button again because it's an impulse valve, it will stay where it is, and then it will travel inwards, and I can adjust with this, this uh, throttle valve here, uh, the, the movement speed. So this here is, here we have again the QM1, yeah? control element, QM1, controlling our MM1, yeah? here we have an SJ1, here we have an SJ2, the two switches, yeah? and then we have here, these are R sets, yeah? R set 1, R set 2. These are the namings of those cylinders. And now I'm done. Yeah? Now this looks like a plan. Yeah? This button for going outwards, this button for going inwards. Every time I release it, this QM1 will stay where it is because, because it's an it's a impulse valve. Huh? Problem solved. Huh? Problem solved. Next time, next problem. Yeah? Another video, another problem. Yeah? Next time, well, not really a problem. Next time we're going to talk about quick exhaust valves. Huh? How we are using them in single acting cylinders why we use them. So next time it's actually it's not really a problem. Well we're solving a problem yeah? but now we'll see. Yeah? So next time quick exhaust valves. For this time thank you very much for listening and goodbye.